Hey everyone, this is Chris, also known as LOTR Deck Tech, bringing you the first of this week's videos. I've got a Gondor build today, uh, supported by Elrond and his ability to pay for basically any ally we want. And just for thematic flavor, we are going up against the Steward's Fear. I've also slightly changed the newer overlay setup. Uh, so now you can probably see my face covering up the deck a little bit in the corner. I figure that is probably the least important part of the screen that I can easily position myself in front of. Hopefully that will work well for this video, and if not, well, you might never see it if I record another one. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is my opening hand, and it's not great. But it has Steward and Rod of the Steward, so I'm going to keep it because almost guaranteed to be fine. Well, first things first, let's put uh, Steward of Gondor on Elrond. Trigger that immediately. And use Denethor's ability to pass a resource over. Rod of the Steward goes on Denethor as well for card draw potential. And we can play out a Guard of the Citadel. This Gondor character is now just Gondor allies. That's fine. Uh, we're going to use 1, 2 and draw a card. It's alright. And we're going to quest. Uh, turn 1. Let's send 5 to the quest. I will add the resource to Elrond. And we are up against no threat in the staging area. <laughs> okay, uh, knife in the back. So, random number 1 to 3 will decide which hero is going to be damaged by this effect. And it's 1, so Denethor will take 1 damage after he got stabbed by one of his guards. That's not the best. Uh, Alright, my 4 willpower <laughs> makes 1, 2, 3, 4 progress on the 4th star. And that's it for this round. Not really anything else we can do. That helps a little bit. Uh, let's slide a resource over from Elrond. Pay 1 for a Squire of the Citadel. 1, 2 for a Warden of Healing. Now I have two Gondor allies in play, which allows me to spend one, two, three, popping in a Citadel Custodian, who I will use to play a very good tail. Squire of the Citadel and Citadel Custodian is six. So first off, we shuffle. And then one, two, three, four, Five. All right. Uh, unfortunately, those two visionary leaderships are really nice, but three free willpower and a couple of points of attack when I need them are pretty great. So let's send four, five. Uh, let's just send four to the quest, and we'll put this resource on Elrond because there's nothing in the staging area, and we're probably not going to go completely nuts here. All right, not bad. So up against three, I make one progress. Just enough, not that, but uh, progress to clear the fourth star, which will draw me a card. Flip over this underworld and disappear. I also get one resource on the quest. Uh, Losernock Bandit. Not my favorite, but I think we'll live. Uh, I will travel to Market Square. Spending a resource off of Elrond. No Underworld, so I didn't mess that up. And I am forced to engage this Losernock Bandit. Which eats up one resource. He's gonna get a Shadow Effect. Uh, let me heal up Denethor now so that I can defend with him. Returning the bandit to the staging area. That's fine, I did not have enough attack power to do any damage anyways. Could be worse. And we are on to round number three. 
Let's shift this over here. I can do one, two, four, and Envoy of Pelergear. Uh, putting a resource on Elrond because he is both Noble and Gondor. One, two, I can play a second Warden of Healing. And I think I'll use these two to draw a card. I'd really like a Gandalf to go with these sneak attacks, but sometimes you just have to deal with what you get. I will send six to the quest this round. Probably won't make much progress, but I only need to make one. Well, okay, that is no progress. <laughs> Not a huge deal. Uh, I am, however, forced to engage both of these. The Underworld Dissident is just to attack because this is a city location. Hmm. And I don't lose any resources. Uh, that's not true. I would have had one on Elrond from Theodrid, but okay, it's gone now. Shadow, Shadow. Uh, Denethor will defend this dissident. And I have access to two attack right now. Let me defend with the Squire of the Citadel. He gets killed, but that means that Elrond will get another resource. Uh, and I literally cannot fight back. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. Round number four. That is an extra steward I do not need. But I can spend two to draw another card. That's a good one to get. One, two. Here is a Pelagir ship captain. Uh, do I want to trigger that response? Yeah, let's move. It doesn't actually matter. <laughs> so no, I'm not going to trigger that response. I am just going to quest for four and put this resource on Elrond. We reveal an Underworld Dissident. All right, up against three, I make one progress, which clears this location, adding another token to the quest. I do have to engage this Underworld Dissident. Gets himself a shadow card to go along with all of these others. Let me spend one for a sneak attack, dropping Gandalf into play. Uh, I'm just going to do three damage, four damage, technically, to this Losernock Bandit, because otherwise I'm never going to get past all these enemies. His shadow could have been really bad, uh, but that's alright, because I'll have Denethor defend one of these. Take no damage from that attack. Uh, Citadel Custodian can defend the second one, take one damage. Now, let me see. I have four damage from Gandalf, which kills Underworld's Dissident. And one, two, three, four from my mini Gondor swarm. Clear out the second Underworld Dissident. And all of a sudden, I feel a lot better about where we stand right now. Gandalf does come back to my hand at the end of the combat phase. And we move on. Elrond up to six resources right now, so that's one, two for a second envoy. I'll uh, put that resource back on Elrond. Spend two to draw a card. It's a little pricey, but I am quite happy with doing that, especially because now I can play a Defender of Ramas, who will help defend more of those bandits. And I can quest. Uh, I'm gonna send four one more time putting a resource on Elrond. Okay, uh, I know there's like five of these in the encounter deck, so I suppose I should not be terribly surprised that I keep seeing them. But this is where we're at. I would make one progress, except this quest doesn't track progress. I engage the Underworld Dissident, who is attacking for two. Uh, yeah, which I'll defend with this Defender of Ramas. 
because even with that plus two shadow, he is totally fine. And one, two, three, four is enough to crack back and clear out the dissident. Uh, before next round, let me spend two more to draw a card. And then we'll move on. Slide that one over. I have one for a squire of the citadel. He will probably chump block another attack. Uh, we will pay net one for this envoy of Peller gear. And I can spend two to draw another card. All right, let's quest four again. Resource on Elrond. False lead means nothing happens. Spend two to draw a card. Uh, Darren's runes to draw two cards. Uh, I guess I'll discard this Steward of Gondor because I definitely don't need that. And I'm going to feel really bad if we get the plot that uh, burns down your deck. <laughs> Because I think we'll lose in that case. All right, on to the next round. Hmm, okay. Uh, one, two allows me to play a second Pelagir ship captain, sliding this resource over from Theodrid onto Elrond. Uh, one, two draws me another card. And we'll quest for four. <laughs> All right, Underworld Dissident. That is not a location, though I really would like it to be. Uh, let me defend with the Defender of Ramus one more time. Get the same shadow effect as last time. I am almost in good enough shape to kill this Underworld Dissident just with Envoys of Peller gear, but we can use the ship captain and have an entire Gondor boating crew smack that bandit in the face. Uh, before the end of the round, I will draw another card. Darren's runes again to draw two, discarding this rod of the steward. And we move on to the next round. Elrond is at four resources, so I can easily do one, two, three for a linear C captain. Both the captain and Elrond do not exhaust, commit to the quest right now. It's easy because in this deck, the only way you will ever pay for linear C captain is with Elrond. So I can send a whole, what, one, four, six to the quest up against literally nothing. Finally, a location. Gets a card from the Underworld deck. And I would make three progress, but there's nothing to make progress on. So we'll just travel there and be grateful. Uh, might as well one, two, draw another card. Yep, okay. And next round. That's a good one though. One, two, three, four. Here is Boromir, the ally, who will probably just be a three attack ally in this case, but that's more than good enough for me. Hmm. Still hoping I will get a third copy of Visionary Leadership because there should be one. But let me quest uh, four. Five, six, seven. Seven should be enough. Against another sewers, which actually is great uh, because I can definitely handle a couple of brigands and I would really like to get some clues. There's our second underworld card for that location. So I will make four progress. One, two, one, two, three, four. Clearing this out and revealing a zealous traitor and a scrap of history. Uh, I will travel to the sewers, absolutely. 
Need to find some more clues. This is nasty. I forgot that was a thing that happened. So, uh, during the travel phase, let me sneak attack. Popping a Gandalf into play. Doing one, two, th uh, one, two, three, four damage to the zealous traitor. Killing him immediately. Because I really can't afford to lose, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven allies right now. Uh, especially since that is a huge amount of <laughs> combat potential just sitting there. I guess that's my last sneak attack for now. I did explore a third location, so now we are at three. And we move on as my threat gets a little bit high. One, two. Slide this one over. Oh, one, two, three. Here is a second Lin here C captain. Once again, paid for exclusively with Elrond. Spend two to draw a card. That one doesn't help at all. Let's quest. Uh, one, four, five, six, seven, eight. We will definitely clear this this round. Houses of the dead. All right, that one is not my favorite, but it is nice to have the option for two Underworld cards. Or just questing past four threat for a while. All right, I sent eight. There's four in the staging area. Once again, one, two, three, four. Revealing a Losernock Bandit. Much better than the other one. I can't travel to Houses of the Dead like that literally will kill characters, so I will optionally engage. Oh, sorry, I forgot. First things first. We explore the location, so we advance to stage two, and I get to pick which plot card. So, random number. One to three. Plot card number three is Poisoned Councils. And then these will go away. Uh, that is also fairly bad. Of Mindaluin becomes the active location with another underworld card. Alright, so I only have a few turns to make this work. We will uh, see what we can do. Okay, optionally engage Losernock Bandit, which costs me a resource. Uh, this one I'll defend with Denethor because I can absolutely heal. Attacking enemy gets plus one, means he takes one damage, which I can heal immediately. And I only need six to fight back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I could use Boromir, there's a whole bunch of things I could do instead, but Bandit is defeated and that is good news. We need to exhaust a hero to claim the scrap of history, so I will absolutely do that. Sends him to the victory display and one resource on the grand design. And let's move on to the next round. Glad that I can draw all the remaining cards in my deck without it being a problem. Uh, one, two, here is a Defender of Ramas. One, two, here's a card draw. It's a nice one to get. Hmm, all right. So there's Four in the staging area right now means I need to quest a little bit more than I did before. So here is four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only need to make five progress. Let's make it thirteen committed to the quest. Okay, lurking in shadow gains surge because there's no brigands. And random ally. All right, one of my defenders of Ramas has attacked a hero. Random hero, Elrond. Takes one point of damage. I've still got 13 committed to the quest up against four, more than enough for one, two, three, four, five. Clearing the roots of Mindaluin, bringing out a pickpocket. Ah, my threat should be too higher from Poisoned Councils, which I totally forgot last round. I'm gonna have to Gandalf that down, I think. Alright, not too bad. Um, like I said, I really can't 
travel to Houses of the Dead. So I guess I'll just engage Pickpocket, who gets a shadow card. Defend with Defender of Ramas, uh, discarding this resource from Theodrid and this very good tail. Attack is undefended, it is not. Two damage back, kills the pickpocket. I can heal Elrond. <sighs> and I guess we are moving on to the next round. Raising my threat up to 44. I do have another sneak attack, finally, which is great. Uh, let me one, two, uh, yeah, let me play down a Warden of Healing. One, two, three, four, five is enough for a Gandalf, dropping my threat to 39. Uh, that is 29, I meant 39. And I guess we quest a little bit. I'll send eight, that should be enough. Uh, I will put the resource on Elrond. A knife in the back. Okay, not Gandalf. All we need right now. All right, Power Gear Ship Captain is going to do one damage to Denethor. My four progress does absolutely nothing. And I can finally now travel to Houses of the Dead, exhausting all characters in play. Um, I would have healed Denethor before that, I'm just being lazy. And I'm not going to exhaust all these characters, because that would just take too much time. Uh, end of the round, Gandalf will go away, and we'll move on to the next one. Raising my threat back to 42, so it's not really getting better that quickly. Uh, we will load up Elrond again with resources. Uh, I can play second Pelagir ship captain. At this point I'll slide one over from Theodrid. One, two, draws me a card. One, two, plays a defender of Ramas. I would really like to clear this this round. So, here is four committed to the quest. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and we'll put the resource on Elrond. Uh, if I get another one of those all ally damagers, I can sneak in Gandalf to deal with it. So let's uh, see how this goes. All right, uh, these are the underworld cards for Houses of the Dead, and Storehouse is going to get its own underworld card. But it is only two threats, so I make way more than enough progress to clear Houses of the Dead. Revealing two clues. All right, well, <laughs> one token on the quest, and I will exhaust. Yeah, let's exhaust Denethor to claim the prisoner, adding two more tokens, which advances me to stage three, the confrontation. Uh, I will pick a random villain. I get three, so Telumnar's Bane is going to play. And we shuffle the remaining enemies into the encounter deck. Eight cards left right now, so we're going to get an awful lot of brigands at the moment. Hmm, okay. I need, what is it, nine attack in order to defeat Telumnar's Bane. Uh, I am not going to travel to the storehouse right now, because I don't need to. So, uh, engagement. I will engage Telumnar's Bane. He is going to make an attack, and I have to decide who is going to defend against it. I believe it is going to be Squire of the Citadel. Okay, that is not my favorite outcome in the world. Uh, but alright. 
My hand is discarded. Squire of the Citadel is destroyed. With one resource on Elrond. And I need nine attack right now. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine. Still have two extra. Good enough for me. Uh, we might get him back though, because he doesn't have any victory points. And we might cycle through the encounter deck. So let's try and avoid that. Uh, one, two from Elrond draws me a card. That's a good one. And we will move on to the next round. That's a good one, too. Uh, can I play them both? No. No, I can't. So, one, two, three, four. Denethor's least favorite son, Faramir, is going to help us turn this raggedy bunch of nonsense into a massive questing force. Uh, and yeah, and my threat is too higher thanks to this Poison Council's plot. So, at 45 threat, with no Gandalfs remaining, we're just going to go all out and see what we can do. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Nothing, uh, but I'll leave one back. 19. 21, 22. We'll use Faramir. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Great. 40 willpower. Uh, if this doesn't do it, I do not know what will. So, counter deck, what are we going to get? A zealous traitor. The ally that I was really worried about finding another copy of earlier. So, my 40 willpower up against, what is this? four in the staging area that is 36 progress and i wish i could just hold that button down but i can't and i really do enjoy putting all these extra tokens on so that's one too many 36 progress on the final stage we have defeated the villain survived the poison council's plot and there we go denethor has survived his fear all right everyone hope you enjoyed thanks for watching